G'day, I'm Warren Logie and this is Brisbane. Brisbane is more than just a bustling city with more people than jobs. Brisbane is a nature lover's paradise. The rusty trolley park and water drain is a secluded getaway from the hustle and bustle of suburbia. This natural habitat of the rusty trolley wasn't always this serene. In fact, like most of our local parks, this used to be landfill. But don't let that put you off. Once you get used to the smell, it's pretty beautiful. Enjoy the many park benches like this one. Or 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 this one. Ah, uh, oh, there's, there's no more. Exercise equipment like this is abundant in our parks. It's here to counter Australia's obesity problem. All this equipment is named after famous Australians. The Kathy Freeman leg lift. The Susie O'Neill arm flapper. The Captain Cook invasion wheel. The Pauline Hanson fish and chip fryer. And the Harold Holt rowing machine, which disappeared mysteriously after 22 months of service. To compensate for lost profits due to health reform, this equipment now powers the local fast food district. This playground was designed by Sydney Opera House architect, Jorn Utzon. Like all playgrounds in Brisbane, admission is $25 for children and $35 for adults. Premium wood chips and complimentary water balloons are abundant in Brisbane parks. No trip to a local park's complete without some casual littering. Make sure you bring along something you can't be bothered to throw into the bin, like a plastic water bottle. Local parks, love them or hate them, you can't argue they don't exist. Or can you? I'm Warren Logie, and this was Brisbane. <laughs>